Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markwe at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. This is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Marquis of Living Streams International, bringing you matters of faith with Graphic Online. We meet at the Life Cathedral behind the trade fair, behind Zenith College, on Sundays in the morning and Wednesdays for midweek service in the evening. Uh, this, this morning, I, I'd like to be a little bit, uh, let's have some fun. So let's call it Check the Clay. You know, in Genesis um, 2, I'm very fascinated by the way how, how man was created and how God took um, pains to create man. For, for the first time, God said, um, let us, you know, all throughout creation, he was saying, let there be, let there be, let there be, let there be. But immediately he came to humanity, God said, let us. So God used the plural, that is God pulled on the power of the corporate in order to create man. But for me, I mean, all that just speaks about how man needs partnership. You know, we spoke about uh, dangerous partnerships. But now, Something very intriguing uh, comes up over here. And that thing which came up was in Genesis chapter 2, verse 7. Now, God doesn't even say, let there be man, and there was man. But God said, God formed man. And there were two uh, powerful ingredients for the formation of man. That is, uh, he said, and out of the, uh, of, the, of the dust, out of the ground, he formed man. So out of the clay... God formed man. And then after he had formed man out of the clay, he breathed into man his spirit, and man became a living soul. And I, and I like that very much. Now, there are two ingredients that God used or God combined for the formation of man. The clay, which was the structure, and then the spirit, that was the power, or that empowered um, um, the whole movement of man. So uh, it is the clay that takes man from one place to the other, but it is a spirit that captures dreams or pictures of where the clay needs to be the next time. And so for me, it was very, very powerful, the, the mixture of clay and spirit. Everybody knows that if God breathed his spirit into man, there's no problem with the spirit. God has no problem with the Spirit. There's no problem. It's perfect. The Spirit is okay. You know? Uh, and then somebody says, the Spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. The, the, the spirit, there's no problem with the Spirit. Most of the time, the problem is with the clay. And so, you'll be very, very surprised. In, in marriages or whatever it is, sometimes it is not. It is, it's just a simple thing. Check the clay. When there are issues, sometimes we run in, into the spiritual realm to find spiritual, all sorts of things and all this thing. And uh, who is doing what or what is doing what. Sometimes it is the clay. It is your character that has prevented people from coming after you. It is your character that, don't, that people don't want to associate with you. It is your character. You are an unpleasant person. There's no problem with the spirit. There's a problem with the clay. It, it, that, that's just what it is. It is, the, it is probably the armpit that doesn't smell right. That's why people don't want to embrace you. It is the clay. It is not the spirit. And many, many times we find refuge in finding spiritual solutions to things that has to do with the clay. The problem is not with the spirit. The problem is with the clay. And therefore, it should be in your interest to check the clay. That's what we do. Check the clay. Oh, many marriages, many, many corporations and organizations are crumbling, not because of anything, but because of the structure, because of the clay. There's no problem with the vision. There's no problem with the goal. People are praying all right. People are speaking in tongues, climbing in tongues. They're being anointed with oil. They're being anointed with engine oil, probably Zomi in addition. But guess what? The problem is not with the spirit. The problem is with the clay. And if we learn time to examine the clay or investigate the clay properly, we might find solutions to problems that we attribute to the spiritual. We might find solutions to problems that we, 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 have, we have parked our car at the spiritual and tried to give all sorts of spiritual interpretations to it. You have a headache? What does witchcraft to do with headache? Yes, there could be, but what is it? Take paracetamol. You have chicken pox? What, what is it? 
go to the hospital. Get calamine lotion and antibiotic. You know, I mean, that's a check the clay. The problem is not with the spirit. The problem is with the clay. You are not learning, and you're going to sit behind an exam, and then you said some forces from some region is, is coming after you. Uh, your house ground hard. You were not learning. The problem was with the clay. The problem is not with the spirit. Check the clay. That's where the issues are. See you later.